Hey, hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can download and install Tomcat server into our Eclipse IDE and uh, followed by how we can develop the dynamic web project and how we can create the web project and how we can run the web application. Okay, so agenda for today is like uh, first uh, we will download and install Tomcat 10 on Windows. Then uh, in Eclipse server, like uh, we will add the required server into server tab. Then we will create one uh, web project in Eclipse for a demo purpose. In web project, we will create one servlet file and in source, like we will add some sample HTML code in order to verify our uh, web application. Then uh, run that servlet file into Eclipse and uh, with the option of uh, run on server and verify in the browser uh, with the HTML code that application is running or not. So let's get started. So first we will uh, go with uh, this download and install Tomcat 10 server. So go to your favorite browser and uh, type Tomcat download. Okay, so go to for, go to second link where uh, Apache Tomcat 10 is available. Okay, so here like Tomcat 10 software downloads. So scroll below, so you will see binary distributable. So this is the latest version available in uh, 2023 starting. So these distributions are available. So the, we can see these core distributions where like uh, uh, we have like a zip for Windows, then we have like uh, this uh, tar file for uh, Linux environment. Then we have 32 bit, 64 bit and again 32 plus 64 bit installer. So we will go with uh, this code distribution with 64 bit uh, Windows system. So you have to choose whichever is uh, applicable to your machine. Okay. So click on this. So it will start the download Apache 64 bit Tomcat server. Okay. So it is downloaded. Go to folder. So copy this installer into a particular directory. So like in my case, I'm copying this into C tools. So create new folder called as a Tomcat 10. Paste it here. Okay, so just need to extract this. So let's say extract here. Okay, so it is extracted. So now uh, let's go to Eclipse and uh, let's try to add this configuration into servers tab. So go to windows. So this is our eclipse. So go to windows and uh, go to other and here like uh, you have to see server. Okay. So select open. Okay. So we have servers tab here. So no servers are available. Click link to add new server. Okay. So click on this. Okay, so we have uh, Apache Tomcat server. So go to Apache and you can see there are uh, multiple distributions available. So in our case, we have Tomcat 10 server. So click on this and le let's say next. Okay, so now here like uh, we have to give some more details. One is this uh, version of the Tomcat, then Tomcat installation directory. So browse for this and uh, give the directory where it is installed, where we have downloaded this. Apache Tomcat. Okay. So we have this directory C tools Tomcat 10 Apache this. Okay. So click on select folder. So you can see this uh, uh, the directory parent directory of uh, Tomcat where we have extracted that we need to give here. Let's say next and let's say finish. Okay, so our first step is completed. So now in Eclipse, uh, create a dynamic web project and uh, create the servlet file into our web project. So go to file, new and uh, go to others and uh, here type uh, dynamic. Okay, so you can see this is a dynamic web project. So select this. So we need to create one web project for demo purpose called as a Tomcat demo. Okay, so target runtime we have to select here uh, Apache 10 because like uh, we we are uh, adding this as a application server. Then dynamic uh, web module version is 5.0 and let's say next, next and finish. Okay, 
so our demo project is created let's verify its structure so we have got like this java resource then src main java and uh, we have this build also in source we can see web.inf also okay web.inf okay so now uh, in src main java so we have to create one servlet file in order to verify our uh, tomcat server installation so go to other and type servlet say next just give class name as a servlet demo and click on next click on next and here like uh, keep everything as a default so we need a do post and do get methods and inherited abstract methods and constructed super class so let's say finish uh, so you can see our web.xml is also created okay so yeah so our uh, class is servlet class is created so inside that uh, as we mentioned so we have created two methods one is do post and one is do get okay so what we have to do here so in order to verify this uh, servlet uh, working on a browser or not so we just need to add some html code so we need to add some html code so like uh, you can tell our response that uh, we need uh, to set the content type here as a text html txt html okay and then we need to print something so we need like a print writer object so that object is here response dot get writer dot print so we need to print the string so select the string and uh, just we need to add one header in html so give header as h1 close h1 okay and type hello tomcat 10 that's it so our uh, everything is completed so just uh, remove this line so this is not required this to do is not required so only this is required so we we have this html code to verify now go to your servlet and just right click on this and say run on server okay so click on this local host so it is stopped so say next add this project so this is already added and let's say finish so you can see this tomcat is starting up so this is the console log starting servlet engine okay it is started now it is opening the browser now okay so the browser is open yeah here we go so we got this message hello tomcat 10 into the edge browser so that we have provided here hello tomcat 10 all right so this application is deployed into this tomcat this tomcat demo this is the tomcat demo this application is deployed into tomcat and this is running perfectly fine so you can observe this url localhost 8080 tomcat demo and servlet demo so we have this tomcat demo and this servlet demo and this this is the message we got okay so this way we can install uh, apache tomcat server into eclipse and uh, we can run the sample web project and web application into browser yeah so stay tuned for uh, further tutorials and do subscribe our channel thanks a lot for watching